God, it's so simple to sing. It's so profound at the same time. It's so easy to sing, so hard to live. It's so easy to say in a group like this, so hard to speak out in, in our workplaces and where we go back to our day in, day out, daily lives. But God, I pray that you would plant in us a seed. You said the kingdom of God is like a seed. It's planted and it grows. I pray that, that because of this, this conference, that a seed will be planted in us of truth, of, of reality, of realization, that, that Jesus Christ is Lord, that, that he is risen from the dead. Yes, that's true. That truth, that changes everything. That brings hope to a hopeless world. That brings joy to a despairing world. That brings wholeness to a broken world. That brings life to a dead world. We thank you for this chance just to sing over one another, over our, over our own souls, what's true, what's real. And I pray that you would make it real in our lives. Thank you, God, for this chance. Thank you for all you're doing in this ministry. Thank you for all you're doing here today. We want to pray all these things in the powerful name of Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. climbed up in the sycamore tree. He invited him down. And his life was changed. Blind people. Lame people. Everybody. Everybody that Jesus met. He was able to cleanse and change their lives. There's not a man sitting here tonight that you've done something that's too bad that Jesus can't cure. The gospel is this. On the one hand, we were so bad Jesus had to die for us. You, you let that settle on you. You take that blow and, and it breaks you of your pride. We were so bad, Jesus had to die for us. But on the other hand, we are so loved, Jesus was glad to die for us. You let that break you of your despair. It's both and. Our sins are many. His mercies are more. I invite you to sing this with us. What love could be left knowing he counts not their song. Thrown into a sea with a bottomless shore. Our sins, they are many. His mercy is more. Amen. What patience. What patience would wait as we constantly so tender is calling us home. He welcomes the weakest, the vilest, the poor. Our sins, they are many. His mercy is more. God put desires on your heart. Things that he wants you to accomplish and to do. Things that he wants you to become. Have you taken time to figure out what signature is God writing over your moment in history? By your blood, by your blood, redemption and salvation. Look, you died and I might reap what you have sown. And you rose and I might be a new creation. I am born again by grace and grace. All of my life, I never knew the day from the night. The spirit, you made me see. Oh,
Francisco Cabrera. And Atlanta pulls out game seven with three runs in the bottom of the ninth inning. So that's when I, I have to understand what he wants for my life. What's his sovereign will for my life? His sovereign will for my life, folks, is understanding that I'm here to do what? Love the Lord my God with all my heart, soul, strength, and mind. Love my neighbor as myself. And go into all the world and preach the gospel, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what God wants from me. God wants from me. His mercy is